Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your marrow surgery faculty. And the FMG results have been declared recently. And I have Dr. Anshul who scored an amazing score of 223. And this was her first attempt. And she's been a marrow user since her sixth semester. Hardiest congratulations, Dr. Anshul. Why don't you tell something uh, tell us something about yourself? Thank you so much, sir. Hi, I'm Anshul Chahan and I have graduated from uh, European University, Tbilisi, Georgia, and I have scored 223 in my first attempt. And I'm very happy with that. <laughs> I'm sure uh, because this time uh, the past percentage has gone down as compared to the last exam. And to get such an amazing score in your first attempt, that's uh, truly remarkable. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Anshul, please tell us when did you start using marrow and how has your journey been? Um, with marrow ever since? Uh, I have started uh, using marrow uh, from my sixth uh, semester actually. And then uh, I continued using that. During my college days, I used to watch main videos, but during my revision time, uh, like the main preparation phase, I switched to a revision videos. Perfect. So uh, regarding the videos which you used to watch during your college time, so you, have you watched the videos of all the major subjects? Uh, like most of the subjects, like uh, medicine, OBGYN, and PSM, uh, some part of PSM, not whole, and surgery videos, pathology. Uh, most of the subjects I have covered, like anatomy, uh, like biochemistry, dermat, those I have involved. Otherwise, so uh, own future, subjects I have covered. So for sub, for the short subjects, you just relied on the revision notes and the videos. Yeah. Yes, sir. Perfect. So having been exposed to these 19 faculties, uh, any particular faculty who has uh, influenced you a lot, whom you would like to mention in the interview? Uh, like uh, Rakesh, uh, sir, he's the best. Uh, you, sir, and uh, Sakshi, ma'am, also. And pathology, also. Ilya, ma'am, also. And also about uh, Mukmoit, sir, for PSM. Great, great. I think so. I like PSM to... is very important because you're not taught PSM in your uh, uh, colleges. Yes, and then sir. when you have to come back here, PSM is a major part of your FMG exam. Yeah. For that, uh, during that time, uh, like my during my holiday, I used to watch uh, sir videos. Like I have to complete this portion of PSM or other subjects. And after that, uh, during my revision time, I just switched to revision videos for PSM also. So when you used to watch the main videos in your college, were you making your own notes or were you using Mara notes along with that? No, sir. I used Mara notes. Mara notes. And um, how was the correlation between what was being taught here versus what was being practiced in the hospitals there? Was there a good correlation between the two? Uh, yeah, it was very good. Like uh, whatever we studied uh, a day before the college, and it will be helpful uh, during uh, my uh, college days. Perfect. And um, also it's easy to correlate actually. Your college uh, exams, when they were conducted, the semester exams, which were primarily MCQ based exams. So, did your yes. study help uh, there as well? Yes, sir. It's helped a lot. Perfect. So, once your college got over and you started preparing, you said that you moved to the revision videos, and that's when you started doing the Q bank as well. So, can you elaborate whether you were doing the PGQ bank or the FMG Q bank? So, uh, during my college day, I used to watch uh, neat PG videos as well as the Q bank also. Okay. And during uh, while I was doing the revision videos, at that time, I also using the neat PG Q bank also. After that, uh, once the first revision is over, after that, I switched to FMG. Great. I think so. That is very good advice and a great strategy because, you know, you're exposing yourself to more difficult and more conceptual questions when the time crunch is not there. And when the time crunch is there, when you have to revise, you move to a, the more selective FMG Q bank, which can help you revise quickly. So very good uh, uh, strategy. Um, in terms of everyone talks about Dr. Anshul doing previous year questions and previous year topics. Uh, this time the paper was atypical. There were less previous year uh, topics which were asked. But uh, how did you approach those previous year topics while revising? And, um, you know, how much time would you recommend somebody to devote to those previous year topics and previous year questions? But actually, I have that uh, all the notes. 
so i only not stick to the previous topics i have uh, so we thoroughly all the videos i have watched all the videos i have revised my notes and then uh, focusing more on the previous year topic it's important but not only uh, it should be should not only study the pyq topics absolutely i mean and that's why you got such an amazing score just by reading py pyqs or pyts you can crack the exam but not get a score of 223 so you have to widen your horizon of knowledge and that's how you can uh, you know achieve a great score so uh, can you tell us your approach regarding the q bank uh, did you solve q bank modules on a daily basis when you were preparing for the exam and did you participate in the marathons as well which were being organized for fmg students yes sir i was uh, watching the videos and uh, then i used to solve the q bank simultaneously on the same day and after that during my revision i used to do at least three or four modules in a day and if i can do more uh, i just uh, made the custom modules for that and what of all the, the subjects like mix back questions good so that is great when you are revising you should do questions on a daily basis that is very important and i say this time and again that one of the reasons why fmg students don't crack this exam is because they do lack of mcq practice so uh, during this custom module phase what were the tags which you were using that can help uh, future aspirants as well uh, recent fmg and uh, image based questions perfect yeah because i think so there are a lot of image based questions which are asked in fmg and uh, this is also a good way to quickly revise your pyts and pyqs yeah so but i used to make short modules like uh, 50 or 30 questions and after that i can make again uh, once if i made 100 questions module uh, it will be tired correct correct uh, so what how about doing uh, the grand test which were being highlighted in the maro app or the subject wise uh, test did you appear for them as well yeah uh, for subject wise test i used to uh, complete that subject and after that i used to solve that module and for the grand test uh, once my revision half of my revision is over and then i used to give uh, like twice in a month i used to give grand test and i will review it on the same day perfect so were you reviewing all the questions or only the ones which you were getting wrong uh once which i uh, used to get wrong and once uh, some questions which i am com- confused about that only those i used to uh, check again and uh, did you appear for the national maro mock test which was conducted for fmg uh yes sir what was your and score i scored i scored around 246 246 and your actual score was 223 in this exam yes perfect so i mean you knew that you were going to crack the exam with flying colors it was just a matter of what score you land up with yeah i uh, after the exam i was like i will score around 200 but uh, above that I, i was not sure great so i think so it's, it's it gives you great confidence if you appear for these mock tests and if you're doing well in the mock test it just reinforces the fact that uh, you're doing something correct and you're bound to do well in the exam as well uh, from even after uh, reviewing the grand test i used to note down those points in my notes only so if there is any extra information i can uh, read during my revision that so dr anshu you seem to be a very sorted person you had a clear plan of action now when we talk to fmgs a lot of them struggle with revision so can you f- highlight five tips for revision once they've done their first reading supposing they're left with three months before the exam right or four months if we say for the december exam they have four months so what would be your advice to these fmg students in the last 3 to 4 months uh first uh, firstly don't run here and there for the information just stick to one source and it will be good and secondly uh, if you are revising uh, one subject then do custom modules of other subjects sir, on that day so that you can uh, correlate uh, like you are not uh, forgetting the things you remember those also so it will be keep on uh, revising and thirdly if you uh, just make a plan before uh, starting your revision otherwise you will just continue one subject uh, throughout the month if you are not sticking uh, to your plan great so i think so very sound advice number one is to plan properly when you're starting your revision so that you devote adequate time to all the subjects more time to your weak subjects 
and even on the days when you're doing other subjects keep on doing custom modules of other subjects so that you don't forget them because that is something very common they say that i did uh, medicine or i did surgery two months back and then i did not revise it and now i've forgotten it so by doing these custom modules you will be in touch with that subject as well very good advice and um what about marrow pearls were you utilizing the pearls as well uh, for like uh, uh, for psychiatry i was using for dermat i was using uh, for other subjects i did it okay right and whenever i feel i was lacking only that if we talk about short subjects so a lot of students ask us that you know for short and long subjects are just revision videos enough what would be your take on that it's enough if you have time you can study the main videos also yeah but it's if like you don't uh, have time, mm -hmm. just stick to revision videos and its notes and do the q bank yes it will be enough okay perfect all right what was your typical day like dr anshul when you were preparing so suppose you have four months uh, you had four months before your exam what was your typical day like i'm sure students would like to know that i used to uh, wake up around 8 uh, or 9 and then after that i used to sit in a separate room and then i will study i will just come out of my room for the lunch or dinner otherwise i will uh, be in my room and study so i think so that is whenever i don't want to study required. yeah yeah whenever i don't want to study i will just uh, come and sit with my family and then i will be back in my room perfect that so things you need to be focused like dr anshul proper planning and focus and that is what is going to get you through in the first attempt with such a great score any other um, you know things which you utilize you know and dr anshul uh, you know that the pass percentage is not good and sometimes that brings your motivation down how did you keep yourself motivated all throughout your uh, journey while preparing for the exam Uh, like i used to talk to my family whenever i feel low uh, i used to do uh, custom modules if i like uh, i am forgetting that subject or uh, these things i have forgot uh, i will uh, just even if i am going to sleep and at that time i something quick uh, in my mind i will just uh, go and see it and then after that i will sleep great okay. and then you have to do custom modules it will be much uh, helpful and brain test uh, were very helpful during my preparation so i can see how focused you are and i will not be surprised if we are interviewing again next year once you crack your pg seat so just keep that focus and dedication going and it's been a, an absolute pleasure talking to you dr anshul you've been uh, you know uh, i really admire the kind of clarity which you have uh, all throughout your preparation uh, any final tips uh, which you would like to share with future aspirants just uh, keep on revising and just stick to one source if you have and uh, but uh, don't run here and there for the subjects if you want you can study one subject from other source but not whole if you have done once even then it will be very helpful just keep on revising that and do custom modules every day and also do uh, give grant test perfect whenever you feel low just talk to your family or do what bit whatever makes you happy Great, Dr. Anshul. Pleasure talking to you. And what PG branch do you want to take up in future? Uh, maybe an anesthesiologist. Great. Can't can't wait to interview you once you've got your anesthesia seat. All the very best. Thank you for taking out time and talking to us. Thank you, Dr. Anshul. Thank you so much, sir.